Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about exponents. I will explain the meaning of exponents. I will also explain the laws that govern exponents, some of the laws, and then tell you how to use those laws when you see a question. Uh, please take some time now and subscribe. Make sure you like this video and you share with your friends or anyone you think might find this useful. And let's get down to it. So what exactly are exponents? Well, the term exponents or exponent means repeated multiplication. So you're just multiplying something by itself. You just keep doing the same multiplication over and over again. So it's like this. You could say 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 is simply repeated multiplication of 10 by itself four times. So instead of writing out 10 four times, you might as well say this is 10 to the fourth power. Please do not write 10. It has to be smaller and to the right. It is not this. This is not right. This means something else in math. Okay? And it is not 10 subscript 4. It is 10 superscript 4. Remember that. And it simply means you have multiplied 10 by itself four times. I'm going to help you. Instead of saying that, why don't we assume that we're starting with the number 1 and multiplying the number 1 by 10 a certain number of times? That will help you. There's something I will explain in the future that will make you see why we need to start with 1. So let's rewrite this as 1 multiplied by 10, 10, 10, 10. You see now, because whatever you multiply 1 by is that same thing. 1 doesn't change the value of anything when you multiply. So for the operation multiplication, 1 is considered the identity element, which is, it is the, the element that does not change the identity of anything that associates with it under multiplication. So if you multiply 1 by 2, you get 2. Nothing changes. If you multiply 1 by 10, you get 10. So that's the meaning of identity element. The element which when it interacts under an operation with another element in that set of numbers does not change the, the other number, okay? So what you see is good to always do this. I will explain why later. So at this point, you can write this as the same thing as 10 to the fourth power because it does not change the value that you have. You can take another example. What about two to the third power? Based on this, you can explain that it is one multiplied by 2 times 2 times 2. So it is repeated multiplication. That's it. That's the meaning of exponents. So if you see any number like this, it means take this number. Do, it is not 2 times 3. It is 2 times 2 times 2. But you have to have 3 of them. Okay? So the answer to this will be 8. So that's basically what exponents are. So whatever you write, just multiply it by itself, multiply it by itself, multiply it by itself, the same number of times as the power. This is called a power or an index. I'm going to write those words. So if you have a number, we don't know what number it is, but let's say it is x and it is raised to power. I like using the letter c, okay? If you have x to the power c, it simply means that this one here, in the box, I'm going to box this and say this is what you call the base, okay? And this one here is called the power. This is the power. Some people call it the index. So when you read this, you say it is x raised to power c, or you say x to the c. That's how you say it x raised to power c or x to the c. It means you're multiplying x by x by x, and the number of times you do that is determined by c. Okay? Remember, if you put 1 at the beginning to multiply, it doesn't change anything. But I just introduced this one to help us in a future um, exercise. So let's take an example of how we originate um, the first law that governs this laws of exponents. Don't forget that whenever you have an integer, 
It is the number of times you multiply. A positive integer means you're multiplying. Let me quickly bring this picture in. What if the integer we have is a negative one? So let me clean this up. So I'm going to clean this up. Let's assume what we had was 2 raised to power negative 1. Let me change it to negative 1. Let's change it to negative 3. What does a negative exponent mean? If an exponent is negative, it means repeated division. Okay, this implies repeated division by 2. 2 to the third power means repeated. I need to change this. It means repeated multiplication. By two. So let's just put our identity element for multiplication, which is one, which doesn't change anything. We go one. So two to the negative three power means one divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, which you can rewrite as one divided by two, and then another two, and then another two. So the answer to this is one over eight. That's the answer to this. It is repeated division. Okay? It is repeated division. We're going to get to one of the laws that helps us do this. But remember this, that when the exponent is a negative number, you are dividing by the base. You are not multiplying, you are dividing. But if it is this one, it is repeated multiplication. So 2 to the third power will be 1 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, your answer is going to be 8. So the difference between this and this is that one is a division and the other one is a multiplication. So you're multiplying by, you're dividing by. That's the difference. So never let the negative sign confuse you. Usually when there's a negative sign, the only way to get rid of the negative sign is to put 1 on top of whatever answer you would have got if there was no negative sign. I hope you got that. So it looks like time will only permit me to go as far as um, explaining the difference between a negative index and a positive index, okay, uh, or power. That's it. Now, there is a simple law that we always apply. There's a simple law we always apply. It is the law of mul multiplication. We also have a law that's very similar to that. It's called the law of division. I'm just going to write them on the board and then you see. So, so you want to uh, you want to go with this. If you have x raised to power a and you're multiplying it by x to the power b. We'll take an example. So you have x raised to power 2 you're multiplying it by x raised to power 5. What will your answer be? Your answer is going to be, this is the law, this is the example. The law says when you multiply, when you're multiplying numbers that have the same base but different exponents, you just need to add the exponents together, a plus b. This means when you're multiplying x to the second power, remember x to the second power will be x times x. That's what you get here. Then you multiply it by x to the fifth power. Multiply it by x, you do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. What you have ultimately will be x in seven places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's x to the power of seven which has justified this law, which means you just add the powers. x to the power of 2 plus 5 is x to the 7th power. I'll see you in the next video. I gotta go now. 
And then in the next video, I will explain the other laws that are relevant to this. So today, let's say we have covered the meaning of exponents, the meaning of negative exponents. We now know the first law, which is the law of multiplication, which is the addition law. You just add the exponents. Okay, when you multiply two terms with the same base, remember the base has to be the same. The same base, different powers, or same powers, whatever the powers are, make sure you add them together and it will always give you the answer. We'll practice more questions in the next video. Thank you once again for watching this video. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.